Right, folks, how are we all? I'm on my own. June's at work. Dogs are in the garden. Ginger's out with mate. Clarice doing something. Um, now, as you have seen from the thumbnail and the thumb title, I have been around Tesco's and I have picked up one of these. Right. I don't normally do this kind of stuff because it's all processed and it's all... And I don't need to eat it anymore because I don't work nights, I don't work stupid fucking hours. And I don't need it. But I do like a Mexican. I do like a burrito. I think burritos are absolutely fabulous. I really, really like a burrito. Um, so I picked it up. I picked it up, put it in my bag. How much was it? Beef burrito, four pound. Four pound for this. What do you want, Twoodle? It's a 420 gram um, pulled marinade cooked beef with bean mix. Um, I hope it's bean mixed well. Bum bum, you throw it, I'll fucking hit it. Um, with a bean mix, a tomato, lime, chipotle cooked, long grained rice mix, uh, topped with medium cheddar cheese, mozzarella, full fat soft cheese in a tortilla wrap uh, the heating instructions are i've got to place it in an oven for 35 fucking minutes 35 minutes if you've only got a 20 minute break 15 minute 10 minute break or some even have five some ain't even at work they're all fucking striking standing outside fucking places with placards not letting anybody get anywhere where they fucking want to get um now, striking. I've got all political. When I worked at Alpha Gary, we actually had a contract making all the uh, cable and all the wiring for all the ventilators and all, you know, the um, Nightingale hospitals that were built at great, great cost, but were never actually fucking used, right, at great cost. Uh, but was never ever used and we uh, made tons of the cable stuff um, for ventilators to keep people alive. I personally think we should have gone on fucking strike then and asked for more money. No I don't because I'm not like that. Um, so uh, I've got to bang this in the oven for 35 minutes. Uh, leave to stand for one minute. Uh, not suitable for microwave heating or appliances and all that so do not do not bang this in the microwave. It will not work. It will not cook. You will kill yourself. Well, you won't kill yourself. You'll give yourself the shits. Turn yourself green. Um, do you have to take it out of the wrapper? Tear label loose and uh, tear label and loosen paper before heating. So what I'm going to do, folks, I'm going to put this in the tray. I'm going to do this. I'm going to set up the van. So I'm going to go and clean the van, uh, and I'll get you in a bit. Right, folks, so the 35 minutes is up. Now, I've already done the first half of this. I've recorded another one. June's come home during it. Spoiled it. No, June doesn't spoil anything. She keeps bending over and showing me a sexy bum. And she knows it drives me wild. Um, so, this is it, folks. This is how I banged it in the oven. For 35 minutes. And to be fair, that doesn't look too bad. Um, I think I might have had the temperature too high. Can I do? Now, if you're like me or anybody else in this world, in this planet, when it says to be cooked at, looks like a peanut. Well, my penis doesn't look like that, so. No. Um, Junie, baby, would you do me the great honour? Of what? I don't know. Well, I won't ask for it on here. Could you, could you please pass me a knife and a fork? Fork. A sharp knife as well, please. Are you showing me to be trusted with a sharp knife? Uh, no. Do you want a bread knife? Um, the mother-in-law's no. bread knife? Whichever, Junie, baby. Um, uh, oh. 
Yes, yeah, so would you like to saw it in half? Let Junie saw it in half. Let just Junie saw it in half. You cooked it, didn't you? I think I might have done. What do you want? Well, what do you have to do? Because it's a funnel and you have to yeah. turn it down 10 degrees. Well, I think it would have helped if I did put it in at 170 and not 200. Because like most normal people... Everybody cooks everything on Everybody top. cooks it <laughs> everything on 200. Ice cream, cook it at 200. <laughs> uh, so there we have it, folks. And I tell you what, I don't think that looks too that bad. It's a bit like when I've just cooked the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you compare what I've cooked with dogs, it looks a bit like the filling in there. It does a little bit because we, uh, this is, if, you, if you've got dogs and you cook, we cook our, uh, our own food for the dogs. There's Lurk here, we're having a look. And in that we have sweet potato, uh, kidney beansy, rice, peas, tuna and... Sometimes we put green beans in it. Sometimes we put chicken just in it. Whatever we've got. Yeah, it, it, and and we just do that. I, we have done a video on cooking dogs' food, so if you but do, it looks better than that. <laughs> um, so let's uh, let's tuck in. It's fucking hot. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, hold on, I'll be back. Uh, apologies there from um, me, nobody else. Uh, it was a dental appointment for Junie Baby. Um, so, don't know what I was saying. Did I say let's tuck in? Did I say that? Say let's tuck in again then. I'll tell you folks, that isn't too bad in fact it's quite good there's lots of flavors the cheese tastes really really good um i quite like this where'd you get that from tesco's have you ever heard of it mm. do you want to buy it what's in it um pulled pork pulled beef Rice, cheese, beans. Smells good. But I've noticed that a lot of these convenience things all smell the same. Why? They do. If you had curry and rice and, mm. or something like that, it would well, the, do still you think, smell the same. Do you think the rice is fragrant? Mozzarella cheese is in it as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope it looks like Commander Data now, assessing all the tastes. I don't think there's a lot of flavour in that. Don't you? No, I I'm... think that could do with a load of salt. You sound like my fucking granny, and my nan's dead. Yeah, I, I don't think that's just having had that plum burrito and all mm. those from this, you know, the street food burritos. I don't think that's. Um, got a lot of flavour. I mean, it's oh, not bad. No. It's okay for a, for a ready Get meal. Get out, Twiddle. Um, I don't think there's a lot of flavour. Don't you? Yeah, I think that. there's quite a bit. Perhaps I just had a bad mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try the other corner. Mm. No, you don't. Mm. Do you think it needs some kind of Mexican sauce in it? Try that. Well, you'd want to try it because you're the one who's not moaning, but yeah. you're saying. Let me put a bit more salt on there, it's for me, because I have salt on my salt. Fucking blood will be dried up. Yeah, that's better. Is that better? No, no, no. Yeah, you are all right. Need salt and also. I think it's slightly on the dry side, but is that because you've overcooked it, maybe? 
There's a lot of rice and not a lot of anything else, is there? That's a candy floss machine. Um, yeah, this is too much rice and not enough beef. You see, now I don't understand why you don't do this. Because you've got a better explanation than I have. I like it. You've put salt on it. But there again, your taste buds have been fucked since COVID, haven't they? Yeah. That's mozzarella cheese, love. I love it's dog head. <laughs> Um, but I like for a ready meal. Um, and how much did you pay for it? Four pound. Four pound. I have actually overcooked it as well. I've cooked it at the wrong fucking mm. temperature. So if, if you do learn anything from this video, cook it at the right temperature. Yeah. I mean, the size of it, <clears throat> and four quid isn't too bad, but you're basically paying for a load of rice. But that's what burritos are, though, isn't they, in theory? <laughs> Yeah, but I'd like there to be a bit more of everything else. Mm. Mm. I just, I just think there's a lot of rice there. But mm. once you've had more. the real thing, I think that's yeah. always going to mm. be a, a, a poor second. But it's okay. I've had worse when anyway. it does need salt. Yeah. Um, it does improve it, it with the salt. Yeah, I must admit. Uh, yeah. You see, I eat these things. I eat these things as a as a bloke at work at two in the morning on the break and that's how i judge them and i'm probably doing it wrong to judge it like that but i quite like this i would take that if if you're on nights and you've got one of them other machines at work and you can cook this for 35 and you could cook this for 35 minutes before you come off your break before you come off the shop floor i think he wants some well, the you I think it'd be all right. I really, really do. Yeah. But to sit at home and eat it as a meal, make sure you get the temperature right when you're cooking it, and you might need a bit. Well, you will need a bit of salt. No, I, I just think it's just a, for a quick snack whilst you're at work because it, I would guess it's it's very filling because it's mostly rice. That's fucking isn't it? burnt me lip. Yeah. You don't eat it if you've only got a 15 minute break because <laughs> you ain't going to eat it in 15 minutes unless you've got an asbestos mouth. Uh, yeah, it's it's, it's okay. But do you see what I mean? There's a lot. If you look at that one. Yeah. There seems a lot of rice. A lot of rice, that, a lot of beans. I can't see any no. meat in there whatsoever. Yeah, all the meat's in the other end. Yeah. Uh, you can see all the black beans, but it's mostly rice. And there you go now. Once you get to the end, it... For fuck's sake. Just ram it in your gut. Mm. I've heard that before. No, you oh, no, I haven't. Yeah, I like it. It's okay. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm going. Uh, Ladies, folks, I'm back. Um, that was Ginger's fake time. Yeah. Uh, what I will say now is, though, that in this last bit, it looks like the eggs of spiders, but it's basically just beans and beans and more beans. Yeah. Which is a little bit disappointing because the actual... I wonder how unhealthy that is because the ingredients aren't too unhealthy, are they? No. Got lots of beans in and it's rice. Yeah. Um. It's, like the, it's like it's not been um, distributed over the, the actual uh, yeah. burrito. Correctly, it's like, oh, we'll put a bit here, we'll put a bit there, and that's it. Yeah, it just... Mm. So... Just a bit of tweak, and then it could yeah. go from average... Yeah. ...to really good. The, the, I think always the proof in the pudding is... Yeah. Would you go out of your way to go and buy one again? No. Take work out of the equation. Would you think, oh, I just... No, I'd rather make that at home. Yeah. If it's just a quick something filling, something hot. You see, it's all rice at this end what? and cheese. And then at the other end, it was all beans. Yeah. But there's, no, there's not a lot of meat in there at all. No, there weren't meat. There weren't a lot of meat. But, so, what I'm saying is, you wouldn't go out and buy that 
you wouldn't think, oh, I just fancy a burrito, I'll go to Tesco's and buy it. But no. if you're in Tesco's anyway, looking for something to have on your lunch break at work, Yeah. that would do the job. Yeah. And also, I would rather make one of my own at home because I just fucking would. And that's the way it is. Right, this one is the end of this video, folks. Um, I'm going to go and clean the bath. All right. Say laters. Laters.